I found him last night when I was feeding my cats and his whole side of his ear was sliced open. You can see that it's completely dried up but there's a little bit that's still open and this is a nasty wound. These look like claw marks right here. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. So guys, we are back today with another attack video. Yes, you heard me right. There's been an animal outside preying on my animals and attacking them for a little over two years now. And if you have been following the channel, you'll know that my orange cat kid has been attacked multiple times. He was attacked on the side of his stomach. He was attacked on his foot. And once again, he was attacked on his ear. I found him last night when I was feeding my cats and his whole side of his ear was sliced open. Now, honestly, I have no idea what could be doing this to him, but with having animals outside, they are vulnerable to get preyed on by foxes, raccoons, possum guys, you literally name it. We've had this ongoing problem for quite some time, and this animal, whatever it may be, has also attacked my birds. It tried breaking into my bird cage, and last time it unfortunately got one of my lovebirds. And we found this little guy, helpless, laying on the floor, not alive. Now we need to get to the bottom of this because this can't go on anymore. We can't have this animal preying on my animals outside and keep on hurting them. So guys, what we are going to be doing in today's video is we are hopefully going to be catching the predator that has been doing this for over two years now. So guys, let's stop talking and let's hop straight into today's video. All right, so I have Kid in this bathroom right here and we brought him inside immediately when I noticed that his ear was sliced open. So guys, let's go on ahead, open this door on up. He's definitely gonna be right here. Kid. So we got his food in the water bowl right here. He's eating all of his food. Kid, where are you, buddy? We got a little blanket down for him. We just need to get him a litter pan. But oh my goodness. Kid, what did this creature do to you? You're all right now, buddy. Yeah. It's so amazing to see that even though Kid is injured, he probably doesn't feel that well. He is still loving. He still wants some love, and he is super affectionate. But guys, do you see his sliced ear? It's dried up now, but this was completely open last night. I mean, oh my goodness, Kid, does that hurt you? Come on, buddy. Don't rub that on me. It's okay. So let's see if we can get a better look at his ear. Come here. Let's go sit down. Come here, Kid. Oh my goodness, what's happening to you? What is this creature doing to you? Can we see your ear? Oh my goodness, guys, let's take a better look. Kid, you gotta stop moving. All you want is love right now. So guys, if you take a look at Kid's wound right here, let's see if I can grab his head so you guys can get a better look. You can see that it's completely dried up, but there's a little bit that's still open, and this is a nasty wound. Kid. Kid, you must be feeling so bad. Kid is definitely a trooper. This definitely must really, really hurt him. But he is one strong kitty. He's the strongest kitty I know. Because this animal is ruthless, whatever is getting him. It keeps on attacking him. And Kid is such a fighter. But guys, with this open wound like this, Kid definitely needs to go to the vet because this... This right there definitely needs some antibiotics or it may get infected. And we're going to go ahead and call the vet ASAP. Guys, we just got off the phone with the vet and they told us to bring Kid immediately. We're actually going to be dropping him off so they can run some tests and see if everything is okay inside of this little tummy. So guys, once we get back home, we're going to check the cameras to see what did this to your ear, buddy. We're going to help you. We're going to catch the culprit. We're gonna check the cameras to see if we can spot the predator that attacked kids. So here we have my remote. We're in the living room and we are going to click the cameras to see if we can find anything. And we're gonna click it in three, two, and... We've got our cameras on so you can see we have about nine cameras. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're supposed to have a ninth one. Some of them do tend to go out here and there depending on if there's motion in that area. But you can see we have the front door right here. We have the front yard. We have my kitchen, the side of my house, and a little further. So this area right here is actually a little bit further up. You can see the shed is right here. So I actually found Kid right here when he was injured when I was feeding my cats. So let's go back to that time and see what we can find. So if you take a look right here, here, we are going to be looking at all of the footage from the night and all of the footage throughout the day because this attack could have happened at any hour during the night and any hour during the day. But you can see not all of the cameras are on and that's because these are motion censored cameras. So you can see right here, it's about four in the morning. You can see me and my mom are awake. I'm actually getting ready to feed Alfie, my baby capuchin monkey. But if you look at all the other cameras, 
We are not seeing anything. The reason this camera is on right here is because there's actually a spider web. If it looks a little bit fuzzy, there's actually a spider web that keeps on moving here. The trees and lights are turning on and all of the other videos right here. But we need to keep a close eye to see if we spot anything unusual, see if we see anything out of the ordinary. So guys, we need to keep a close eye out and just be on the lookout for anything. Guys, a couple minutes has passed by and I want you guys to keep a close eye on this right here. It actually moves. I'm not sure exactly what cat this is or what animal this could be, but it seems to get spooked off right there. You can see it goes to run and then it comes out under the car. Let's see what happens here. Oh my goodness. So we have one of the cats right here looking back, running for its life. And you can see that my cat right here comes to the door, keeps looking behind itself. I think something is happening here. I'm not sure if this is where Kid gets attacked. This actually isn't Kid. This is Babs right here. But you can see Babs keeps looking back. Maybe this is when Kid gets attacked right here. Maybe she's coming to the door to warn us, to try to get our attention. But you can see she never really does this. She never sits at the door like this or comes up to the door that much. But something is not right in this footage right here. So let's come take a look right here. This is actually a better view of the front yard, but we can't see anything. There's nothing moving around. And oh my gosh, guys, there she goes. She runs off around the corner. Maybe she was trying to get away from the predator that was about to attack her after Kid. So we're at six in the morning right here. And if you take a look, this is actually Kid. So Kid is climbing on the fence and then it kind of looks like he's limping. He jumps down onto the garbage and he, let's see what he's trying to do. I don't know what he's trying to do. I think he's gonna jump down, but it looks like he's frozen in place and he doesn't wanna take another step because there could be something down below trying to get under the fence. I couldn't jump onto the fence and oh, there's motion in here. You can see that spider web is moving, but I think this camera is actually frozen and this could have been the moment that this predator came and attacked Kid, but you can see he looked like he was limping, guys. And I'm not sure if this is when he was attacked. There's really no way to tell, but guys, the only thing left to do is to set traps around my house. We got Kid back home from the vet. We got some medicine. So we're gonna administer the medicine and set traps to catch the culprit. We've made it back home with the superhero himself. He is the fighter of all evil, protecting the yard and protecting his family out there. This is the strongest little kitty I know and the sweetest one, even though he's injured. Oh my goodness, little baby. So the vet actually cleaned his ear off with some solution. So you can see it's looking a little bit better, kind of looks the same, but they did give us some medicine right here. So let's go ahead, open it up. And they gave us some Clavamox right here because he actually has a fever. This helps with infection. And we are going to be giving it every 12 hours for seven days. So guys, let's go ahead, open it, and give Kid his medicine. All right, so I set the camera up right here so we're able to give Kid his medicine properly. So he's going to be getting one ml of the Clavamox. We actually have to refrigerate this after we use it. So you can see the Clavamox comes. Kid, what are you doing? You're still in the spotlight? The Clavamox comes in a little bottle just like this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it comes in a little bottle. We're gonna give it a nice shake to evenly distribute all of that medicine, make sure it's nice and mixed in. We have one ML right here, and we are gonna be giving him his medicine. So let's go ahead, pop it open. Come here, kid. Let's go ahead, fill it up. Let's see. Okay, we've got it filled up almost, and we got our medicine nice and ready in our syringe. Let's go ahead and give Kid his medicine so he can start feeling better. Kid, come here. Come here, Kid. Let's go ahead and pick Kid up. He's not going to like this, guys. He's going to hate it. It's going to taste really bad. But we're going to hold him by his scruff right here, put it on the side of his mouth, and let's squirt this in. I'm sorry, buddy. I know it's going to make you feel better. Oh, my goodness. That was nasty, but you did it, buddy. You took the medicine like a champ. You're gonna be feeling all nice and better. Look at him. He seems like a very angry kitty, and you're gonna be feeling so much better with that medicine. Isn't that right, buddy? All right, guys, now that we got Kid his medicine, we've looked at the cameras, we've done everything we can to see if we can find this culprit, and unfortunately, Kid, we couldn't see the culprit that did this, but guys, we're gonna go ahead, head outside, and set up some traps around the house to catch Kid's culprit. All right, so we're gonna pick a couple perfect locations to put the traps, but as I was picking your location, guys, 
take a look right here. So here we have a broken bowl. This bowl I actually put up here to feed kids earlier in the day yesterday to eat. And you can see maybe the predator came last night, was trying to get kid, trying to get the food, or maybe it was in the daytime, and knocked the bowl down. Oh my gosh, guys. This bowl is literally completely shattered right here. So I'm thinking we're gonna put one trap right here. We're gonna put some bait because maybe the predator will come back and try to get a tasty snack and we'll be trapped and we will catch the predator. And another place I'm thinking is a good spot to put the trap is over here. Now this is actually where I have my birds. So I have my birds right here and the predator has come for my birds before, but last time they were under my carport but now I have relocated my birds here in this giant tiki. So I may be thinking somewhere along here or maybe near my birds is a good spot. But guys, do you see that? <gasps> oh my goodness. These look like claw marks right here. I mean, look, they are so deep, guys. There's some here and oh my goodness, there's even some here. And oh, they go all the way up the fence guys this is absolutely crazy maybe the attack was right here and maybe the predator was trying to get away or maybe this was kid when the predator tried to grab him this is absolutely wild guys we have a giant predator on the loose and honestly I have no idea what it could be, but we have to stop it in its tracks before it hurts any of my other animals. But guys, that's going to end today's video. If you all enjoyed today's video, give this video a big thumbs up. Guys, comment down below a little prayer for Kid and what animal you think did this to Kid. Could it be a fox? Could it be a possum? Could it be a raccoon? Or are we dealing with something much, much bigger? Now guys, if you want to see us finally catch the culprit, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel on the link down below.